Right, here we go on another one. Okay, so one number, right, one number, I'm going to call that x, all right? One number is x. The second number, I'm going to call y. You can choose whatever you're going to call it. Okay, so one number is x, one number is equals, now, three less than a second number. It's not going to be three minus y, all right? You've got a number and three less than that means that you're going to take three away from that. So this is three less than a second number or three less than y is y minus three. All right, be aware of that. Not three minus y. Okay, so there you go. That's three less than the second number. Okay, you've got an equation. All uh, right, twice the second number. So y is the second number. So here we go. Twice the second number to y is equals 24 more than five times the first okay so here's five times of the first okay there's five times the first what's 24 more than that you would add 24 okay so there we go I've got two equations and two letters so um, now then so now you're going to choose elimination substitution it looks like it's set up for substitution here because look at that first equation x equals y minus 3 if x is y minus 3 I'm going to put that y minus 3 right there where the x is in the second equation. Okay, so let's move over to the, uh, the left here. Right, so 2y equals, it's 5x, but it's 5. I'm going to put instead of x, I'm going to put y minus 3. Okay, and still plus 24. Now, can you see that uh, it's just y's now? Everything's in terms of y. We've only got one letter to find. I'll start to find the x later. So let's keep on going. Uh, 2y. Right, so now this is distributive law. So 5 times y. 5y. 5, 5 times negative 3. Negative 15. And that is still plus 24. Okay, so there you go. Uh, let's just combine this together. Okay, so 2y equals 5y. Uh, negative 15 plus 24. 24 take away 15. What's that, 9? Plus 9, okay. Now, you know, what do we do now? Shall we get the y's over onto the uh, left? Okay, so by taking away 5y from both sides. Let's take away 5y. Just all the algebra now. Take away 5y. So it's gone from the right. So I'll just go over here, over to the um, right side of the page. So let's have a look at this. So we have negative 3y equals still the 9. So now if you divide both sides by negative 3, divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, y equals negative 3. Okay, so y equals negative 3. That's a number. Now, I've got to find x. Well, look at this. If y equals negative 3, I'm going to go way back to the start. Okay, look at this. So x equals y minus 3. Well, I know the y now is negative 3. Just coincidence that we've got another negative 3 there. So here we go. So x equals, again, I'm going over here, just this equation, right? y minus 3. So y is negative 3. I've still got the other negative 3 as part of that equation there. That was just coincidence. So x equals negative 3, another negative 3, that's negative 6. So x equals negative 6. Okay? So I think that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, x equals negative 6 and y equals negative 3. Um, that's it. I don't know if it wants it as an ordered pair. I mean, does it really want... Where's my little pen gone? Oh, there it is. Okay. Remember that was negative 3? Okay. So, uh, maybe it wants negative 6, comma, negative 3. Okay, x is negative 6, and y was negative 3. And that's it.